Hi, my name is Corina Hinckley. I'm a senior at Lincoln High School. And this poem is called Inside Tree. I've been told that my writing is too dense. Too thick to get through the meaning is so often lost under layers of unnecessary description. Sometimes I wonder if it is my writing that's too dense or if it's me. Too dense to see when transparency is required and voice and word and mind, everything is muddled and jokes and stories and fixes and phrases. Karina, would it kill you to make things simple once in a while? Well, the answer to that is a resounding maybe. <laughs> Perhaps. Probably. I don't know if I can. My mind is always churning. The voices of all the different roads I didn't take whispering sweet failures into my ear. Conversations unspoken, too many relationships broken, feeling everything go up in smoke and opportunities lost. Are regrets gained? Regrets with opinions and with anger. I wish my regrets didn't have so many opinions. I wish I didn't have so much anger, I digress. I've never made things simple. Overthinking to me is just thinking. There is a fear of the too easy and a terror of the too hard. Everything is too hard. I will make it that way even if I don't mean to, even if I don't want to. And I've always beat around the bush. Beat it too much. Hit it until it cries. And then I cry and oh my God, we're both crying and I'm hugging a bush. But the bush doesn't really exist. It's just a literary personification of the avoidance tactic that I live by. My heart beats by, I breathe by. I digress. I bought a tree the other day. It's a Norfolk pine with needles as soft as kindness. It sits on my electric guitar amplifier in a tower of light that slips from my curtains. That tree is the reason there is natural light in my room. The reason I open my curtains. I give it water for my Spider-Man water bottle every night and pray to the tree gods if there are tree gods, that it's not too much, that I don't accidentally drown this plant that lives on my amplifier because sometimes that tree is the only thing that provides a breath of air in a world devoid of atmosphere when my lungs can't expand, the weight of guilt exerts too much pressure when my ribs can't move and I feel like I am drowning. There is this tree that sits in a tower of light out from curtains that I never opened before and I think I, think I feel better. It's okay that I never go outside, because I have a tree on the inside. And it's okay that I take three vitamin D pills every night, because the same water that I use to down my mock suns comes from the same water bottle that I use to keep my tree alive. I digress. Poetry. Poetry is hard. I wish poetry could be simple. Unlike my thoughts, like my tree, my tree that sits in a tower of light and drinks from the same water bottle that I do, that breathes when I forget to. Thank you.